different. Um, basically, I get a ton of questions because I'm not the biggest dude ever and I'm not the tallest dude ever, but I have managed to figure out how to hit the ball really far. And so today, I'm gonna give you guys some of these, some of my insights and thoughts into how to do that. Uh, first off, I'm not a teacher and I'm not a, I'm not a, like a teaching pro. So take whatever I say um, and use it to however you feel like you can, but I'm not responsible. I'm gonna go through a couple things here that I think can really help you hit the ball farther and uh, can add some distance no matter what size or how big or how strong you are because for me, hitting the ball far and hitting consistent is more about technique than it is strength. Yes, that plays into it a little bit, but I'm, I'm gonna get you some, some distance without having to do too much with your you know, strength or whatever. It's more about technique. So I'm gonna hit some balls here and talk to you guys it's pretty simple stuff it's really not it's really not that complicated first thing here that i want to say is this little it's a little uh saying that i have for myself is slow is fast and fast is far so what i mean by that is a lot of people when they when they like step up to a hole and they see like maybe it's a shorter hole and they're like thinking maybe this is drivable the thing that people do is they get up there and they think that they just want to swing as hard as they possibly can but that's not a good way to think when you're trying to create more speed okay when i set up to a ball and i know i want to hit it far i'm thinking about stability and i'm thinking about basically compressing the golf ball and i'm not thinking about speed at the top so i'm going to hit a couple balls here from a couple different angles and a couple of them are going to be slowed down and then i'm going to show you guys exactly what i'm talking about instead of just saying it because it'll make more sense when you see it so i'm going to hit some balls here from a down the line view and then from a um, face on view and you guys are going to see exactly what i'm talking about All right, guys. So you saw you saw a couple swings there from the from the down the line and from the face on. Now, from down the line, so you'll notice that my stance is pretty wide. You can see it. Um, it's just a little bit wider than my shoulder width, um, and that's pretty. That's a pretty good rule of thumb to go off of. I'm going to talk a little bit about in a second about like if you want to change the trajectory or if you're hitting a different shot, you can narrow it up a little bit. But if you're hitting just a pretty much a stock drive, I like to see them just a little bit wider than your shoulders. And that to me just creates a nice sturdy base um, and it, it really allows you to use the ground a little bit better when you're more connected and a little bit lower to it. So you'll see that right there. Um, the second thing is you'll notice that my I have a very one piece takeaway. So when I, when I take this club back, I'm keeping it as wide as I can for as long as I can. And then the, the hinge in my wrist is something that just happens naturally. I'm not really thinking about doing that. And when I'm, and the, the key, the, the thing there is when you, when you hinge your wrist too early, Roy McElroy does it a little bit. He, he has a really powerful wrist hinge, but he's Roy McElroy, so that's just different. But for me, if I hinge my wrist too early, it causes me to kind of spin out of the shot. And then also you rely a little bit more on timing because you have to really like unlock it essentially to get it back. So think nice and wide takeaway and don't even think really about hinging your wrist. Let the hinge happen naturally. That's all, that's all I think about. From a down the line perspective, really nice, sturdy, wide base and then a very one piece takeaway creating a it's it's basically it's called width so creating a lot of width there at the bottom and then letting that hinge happen naturally at the top you will notice the wide takeaway again and you will see that when i get to the top i i really kind of there's like this squatting motion that happens and i'm and that's where i'm able to get my speed and my distance is i'm using the ground as I'm using the ground efficiently to be able to generate speed even though I'm not that big. Big key thing here though, I said it earlier in the intro, don't think speed at the top of your swing. That is an absolute killer to hitting the ball force. So don't think speed at the top, okay? I always tell people think speed at the bottom and what I mean by that is when I take the club up it's just simply setting it there and then getting it started and all, all of my speed comes from right here on the downswing comes from right here you can see it in the screen it's like highlighted it comes from right here to right here it's like the analogy of like hitting a uh, like a like a like you ever have a rope and you like pop it you don't pop it by like just waving your hands like this you pop it by it's going like this and then it's like it's like snapping your wrist and that's where the speed comes from it's the same it's the same with swinging a golf club it's like you get up here it's snapping the wrist at the bottom and releasing the club 
that is where club head speed comes comes from versus swinging hard from the top all that being said to wrap that up is think speed at the bottom by releasing your hands to the ball and through the ball because that is where you're going to create speed by essentially it's like centrifugal force so it's your body you're squatting down you're going up but your hands are going down and releasing at the same time and it's creating like a, a snapping right at the ball and that's where you can create more club head speed and generate a lot more ball speed so i'm gonna hit a couple more from the face on so that you guys can see what i'm really talking about because that changed everything for me and it has changed everything for me when it comes to like speed training and doing some long drive stuff hitting the ball far is thinking speed at the bottom and not being so worried about swinging hard from the top because you actually can lose speed and lose power if you get out and ahead of yourself so let's hit a couple more and uh we'll kind of hopefully kind of be able to give a good visual on what i'm talking about and when you can start to understand this a little better wind does not affect your affect your ball as near near as much as it does when you when you're just trying to swing hard you swing too hard you put more spin on the ball it goes less but if you compress it and you learn how to use your the ground and your wrist efficiently you can hit it through the wind and you can see it in the camera when i when i get to the top when i'm right here my speed comes from right there. it's from right here to right here and you can see you can see my hands getting here and then just releasing as i'm pressing as i'm pushing into the ground and that is what that is what creates all the speed for me it's not the fact that i'm strong and i can just swing the club fast it, it, it literally comes from using the ground forces and and snapping through one thing that i want to kind of make note of is my ball position is just inside that left heel um, not too far forward not too far back but the big thing is and the reason that I have it there this is kind of the, the last thing that I think about when I'm setting up to a ball to not over over complicate it sometimes when I'm not swinging as well I'll tend to get my shoulders open um, too far open sometimes they can sit just a little open it's not a problem but too far open and when I have them too far open I can't have the proper spine tilt that I need to be able to hit up on the ball the best way to set up to a golf ball for me is to make sure that I'm pretty square but also just have a little bit of spine tilt to the right if you're a right-handed golfer um, and that allows you to be able to hit up on the golf ball the more you can hit up on it with a driver the less spin it's gonna have the farther it's gonna go so you always want to think about hitting up on the ball versus down on the ball like you do with irons because then it just creates a lot of spin and it goes to the right a lot of times when you hit down on it ball position right inside that foot so that you can have a little bit of spine tilt and hit up on the ball that is just about going to wrap it up to, for today's video there's this like i said it's it's just understanding a few key principles that allow you to be able to hit the ball farther and create more speed no matter how big or how no matter how like small or strong or or however that is like you can create more speed by just learning how to properly use technique and use the ground to be able to create speed and i think that these things if you just implement these the the three kind of key points that i talked about of a nice weight wide takeaway a firm base a little bit of spine tilt and using your wrist and pressing off the ground and snapping your wrist that is what creates speed for me so it's like four things actually pretty simple and i had i've had so many questions about this so i wanted to just make a video about it and you know some of you guys are gonna hopefully be able to take this to the course and you know apply it to your games and hit it farther so hopefully the wind wasn't too bad thanks for tuning in today's video uh getting back to a regular content posting schedule here soon um we have been traveling a lot for good good so thanks for tuning in i love you guys tournament's coming soon so stay tuned peace